this is uh, Som, uh, Som Prakash. Uh, so today we are going to discuss about uh, is a property investment a passive income strategy? So do you really make passive income through properties? Okay. So now I had this question as well and probably a lot of people have this question that, uh, you know, is this real sort of a one time I invest in properties and that's it. So, you know, money keeps coming in. Well, I would, uh, this is my own findings. Please let me know what you think. But to me, property is not a passive income strategy. That means um, you do not generate an ongoing income just uh, you know coming into your bank account without you being involved in the uh, in your property in any sense or form uh, for that matter okay so that means it requires uh, you know efforts uh, requires a bit of your time um, it may not be a lot but it does require so that means property to me is just like any other business so that means uh, you know if you start a, a startup company you are investing your time to build it up and you are working on it exactly same way in the property you just um, invest your money uh, instead of time um, and but you have to work on it okay um, but can it be a passive income uh, sort of uh, income stream absolutely yes okay now if you see this is uh, you know the famous Robert Kiyosaki's uh, cash flow quadrant and uh, um, if you haven't read this book called Rich Dad Poor Dad, uh, I would highly encourage you to read this book. It's an amazing book, um, quite thought provoking. It talks about entrepreneurship, talks about investment, talks about a lot of uh, ways, you know, why rich gets richer, poor gets poorer and how to how do we create wealth. Okay. Now, if you see to me, when you start a property in um, business or property investor, you become a property investor you are kind of here in self-employment quadrant. You are not an employee, okay, of your um, sort of uh, property business, uh, what you are uh, in, but you are kind of a self-employed. That means you own a job. That means this is uh, kind of, uh, you know, um, a business, a small business you have started, okay, just like any other business. However, from here, if you want to move, uh, you know, to, uh, so that means you are working in your business, you are not, the, your income is not passive until you work on your business. What does that mean? So that means when from S quadrant, you just have to move to this B quadrant. That means business owner quadrant. You have to be an entrepreneur. You have to be a business owner. What is the difference? If you see, if you are a small business owner, okay, you have a property business of your own, or if you started as an investor, uh, you are a owner of a property business then, and that is a no leverage. So that means you are just working for yourself. You are working in your business, uh, trading hours. So that means anything happens uh, in your property, let's say tenant doesn't pay, or, uh, you know, there is some, some issues with uh, bust pipes. So if you want, you are be getting yourself involved that means you are kind of self-employed still okay so what is the best way to do it uh, uh, how do you create a, a passive income from the property is you leverage other people that means you own a system and people working for you what does that mean so that means if i employ um, a letting agent um, to manage my property Okay, I pay 10, 12 percent or 8 to 12 percent, whatever that rate is uh, to him um, and that person takes care of all the hassles, then that is what I just leveraged um, somebody else time. That means I am paying some money out of my own rental income, but hassles is taken care of. That is when I become a property proper business owner or I am an investor where my income is passive income okay so that's very important is a lot of people what I have seen they work uh, in their property business but not on their property business that means they haven't created the leverage okay and if you are not created the leverage of uh, you know you are taking leverage of other people's time then the problem is you have to be hands-on that means you have to work you know anything happens and that is not going to give you the financial freedom if you are ever looking for that okay so 
is property a passive income i would say it depends uh, who manages your property if you yourself uh, is responsible then probably not if you have an estate agent or managing uh, agent who takes care of all the hassles uh, then you can be relaxing somewhere um, you know in um, beaches of the world and uh, the income is still there so that's how you have to think like a business owner not as a self-employed person hope it made some sense to you guys um so until the next video out uh, please uh, comment if you have any thought-provoking ideas as well about this video i will speak to you soon then bye bye